Hello, welcome back. So I thought of something. So let's make it into one single episode and let's explain everything. So to find the relic pieces, well, I think I found one in a safe. You can watch the other videos if you don't find it and you'll see the answer over there. Hey, where are the relics? Okay, so let's show the case them over here. So there are three pieces to this thing. One you find in the safe. This one you find in the toilet on the second level and the third one, which was sneaking around, you have to find in the vents. You need high perception to see it. So, in the vents, in the safe and in the toilet. They removed it before you used to find it over here in the broken vending machine. See? Before it was in this vending machine over here, but I guess it was too hard to get the muscle for it. So they removed it and they put it in the toilet. Yeah, that sounds lovely. Also, remember, you can craft stuff with the craft window relics over here. Three scale. So it's one, two and three. So let's craft one. Probably be over here under weapons. Uh... Pff. Well, it has to be somewhere over here. Spectre torpedo, they are different. I didn't even realize they are different. What is that thing? I don't think it auto-equipped on me. Hmm, okay, let's <laughs> search for it, I guess. over here well it's actually pretty big how did i not see it where is it under what oh over here under armor weird armor so initiative maximum action points and saved action points i guess you can use that later so let's see how useful it is so I guess you can save more action points like this, so it's not actually... Hmm, I'm not sure how useful it is, but it looks expensive. 1,500. Save the action points. Oh, okay, so I can basically save all of my action points. Oh, nice, so... Let's see if I got this straight. So you can start the combat. You can actually wait the entire round, we have 8 action points, so that means we can save all of the action points from one round to the other. So that means the next round will actually have 16 action points. Oh, that's... That's actually not interesting, because we might use some really interesting abilities in one turn, for example, well... We can also shoot our guns 4 times, or in case of this one... 5 times, that's actually interesting. Okay, now let's go down to the excavation site. We have cleared everything we needed to do over here. Yeah, I'll forget about that. Man, they really should, should remind you somehow you can actually craft the item. It was over there. You might need to scan them first, so remember that as well. Sorry I lost so much time explaining something so simple, but... I guess the game is not really simple. Especially when it comes to the, to the details like this. Uh, to be honest, I think I'll use this more now, because we don't really have action points to save at this moment. Maybe we'll have more companions, we'll see. The amount of combat in this place has been decent, at least so far. And now that we have solved the secret, we can also solve the entire map, or the entire location. But before we do anything silly, let's save before. Okay, so we're supposed to go down a specific path. Can you sense him watching that, really?
Yeah, there's not much you can do over here. In terms of exploration, even though it seems like the map is a lot bigger to the left and to the right, there are no there is nothing to interact with. So I'll assume there is nothing for us to do over there. Huh? I guess it's time for a picture. The relic is a lot bigger than we think, probably. Yeah, okay. This amber orange ball hovering above the scientific equipment connected to it seems to be the reason for what happened in Nashville. You can feel the waves of anomalous radiation emanating from it with your whole body. A pleasant tingling rolls through your skin and each wave fills your head for a mere moment with strange, rapidly fading images. You aim your scanner at the artifact's glowing surface, but the device will... You suddenly begin to feel numb. The prickling in your hands, and the anomalous radiation pressing against your head. All of your... It cup gaining... What? Come on, this is so stupid, so... Okay, let's stab stabilize it first. If I... It takes you some time to real... The space... The yeah, yeah, whatever. I know, I know. Let's stabilize it first because apparently that's trying to scan it introduces you to the event. Wow. It takes you some time to realize you step the spell. Wow. Excuse me. Servo shell. And the model is so old. Excuse me. I just hit quick load. I guess it quick loads your auto save or whatever that is. Okay, let's use our full potential. I really want to see what the scientist does for us. So that's the main reason I'm playing this game right now. To see what the scientist does and what can we do with the role playing. This amber or you bend toward the equipment. It's possible the slight electric current being emitted somehow stimulates the artifact's activity. So you decrease the voltage. The cooling system is working one half throttle, so you bring it up to you suddenly begin to feel numb. The prickling in your hands and the anomalous radiation pressing against your head grow weaker, but a frightening sensation rises in their stead. An unknown force detaches you from your body and takes you up into the cool, ringing silence. The maelstrom hanging above Nashville embraces you. All of your consciousness unfolds like a giant canvas, hurling you into a dark auditorium. You see the maelstrom swirling over Nashville. Pulling you from the crumbling walls of the base, it lifts your mind above the world. Also, this is not yellow lightning or whatever they said it was green or yellow. A different color, so yeah, it's different dimension it covers the lands of the dome like a gigantic spot in the swirling shadow of which the lights of human consciousness flicker some of them fade away barely in contact with the maelstrom others grow dimmer and blink painfully some glow with a strange cold light gaining strength the maelstrom rushing westward comes crashing down onto the southern lands of the dome, leaving behind hundreds of fluttering and slowly fading lights. After sweeping out Concord and Spire Station, the maelstrom finally calms down. It hangs in the very center of the dome, like a majestic, lazily swirling vortex, and your mind rushes about within it like a shining spot. So this is our body over here or our mind or our soul and it's still connected to the caves or body or whatever. Halo eye phenomenon. Mental space phenomenon is my term. It takes you some time to realize that you're wandering through a fog. Eventually, the dull, white nothingness begins to dissipate, slowly returning you to reality. A noise fills your ears. 
a rumble resembling the sound of waves rolling ashore. You step carefully through the white haze. Fragile bits of rock crackle under your feet. Vague shadows appear from the mist over your head. Breached concrete plate bristling with exposed armature. The dusty drill of an earth mover lying on its side. Yellowed documents, boxes. Crushed steel closets that tumbled down through gaps in the floor. The space beneath your feet resembles thick but perfectly transparent ice. A vortex of clouds spins slowly below, the lights still flickering. They're the same lights you saw when you first touched the sphere. The lights are actively moving, wandering, gathering. Iridescent, they form both small and large groups, and the desert far below changes following their pattern. Settlements appear in the north, in the east, in the west, and even in the dull yellow barrens of the south. They grow right before your eyes, as if time were moving ahead at incredible speed. Yeah, they are more or less capable of fighting. Hey, what is that ice that they mentioned? I guess we're in the Maelstone right now. Hmm. Okay, so I guess these are the people from the excavation. Let's speak with them. Ronald still first because we know him. Ah, good day. You feel nothing. <laughs> what I was hoping for anyway, do you know how unreal it was to survive and keep my sanity with all this psychic stress the maelstrom was generating? I guess it's called maelstrom. Oh, so it's not the only time it happened. Okay, this is team. I guess this is the squad. Yeah, he no longer has a gun. Do I know you? Yes, I do. Uh, yeah. What are you talking about? The glasses. Church tele glasses. What? Developed in a church of the milestone person. It's true beauty and communicate with the maelstrom, which reveals the secrets of the dome. Silver zone, such an Okay, before the incident. I guess they know of the maelstrom and the dome and the... Uh, yeah, okay. Not everyone can escape from Nashville. Clara is surrounded with white light and mist, her hands clasped in prayer. She reminds you of an angel statue from some reformist church. Seeing you, her expression changes. She crosses herself, mumbling under her breath. Clara recoils from you in horror. I was having lunch, and then you appeared out of nowhere. She nervously touches the cross, and she steps towards you and kneels. I must repent. Clara's voice trembles. When Maelstrom broke, I didn't try to save anyone. I just got in the truck and drove away. I'm a okay. terrible sinner. I know. I hope you're in heaven. She raises her hell. face, distorted with suffering. I don't know Clara where we are. sighs heavily. See, why are you appearing to me? Is this some sort of a sign? Do you know about signs? This is when... Her voice suddenly becomes deep and thick. She drawls as if her words were being played from a corrupted tape. Clara's face alters subtly, as if it had turned to stone. Habit is very kind to me. 
But his faith is nothing I could get used to. She says in a dull voice. Yeah, what? There's no doubt. The funny, scruffy old man oh, standing hello. before you is Aaron Melville, the old man from the gas station. He also recognizes you. A smile wrinkles his already wrinkled face. Ah, it's you. Long time no see, sweetheart. Melville examines you closely. Mm. Safe and sound, I see. How'd you pull that off? No one survived where you were heading. The only worst place is the center of the dome, where the spire... Well, you know. The old man points vaguely upwards with his crooked finger. You're aware, aren't you? The spire is fallen. Now the road's closed. As if folks would want to come here anyway. And here we stay like crabs in a barrel. Okay, so the spire. So actually this was happening in real... In the dome as well. So this was actually reality. So the maelstrom moved from Nashville and destroyed the spire that was actually used as an elevator to bring the people down to the dome. So now they, are, they have no way of sending more people or help to us. Well, I guess they can rebuild that, but I, I guess that's a story for another time. He thumps his timber leg on the ground, driving the mist away. Uh, don't think that I'm complaining. My business is on a roll. They come and they go. Melville's face seems to petrify. He speaks slowly, but flounders anyway. Uh, the gas station can be crowded nowadays. Uh, everybody needs my gas station. Oh, folks went crazy, I tell you. Fighting over nothing. The old man woefully shakes his head. Or maybe that will happen in the future. What is that? A dazzling supernova-like flash sweeps across your view. The lights, frozen in the desert, start to move. And a cloudy funnel begins to slowly trail after them. The funnel spreads out under your feet. Flickering waves of lights drift northward, driven by the winds of a maelstrom. Not just a maelstrom. Maelstrom. Me the and shadow Stone. covers the west and south of the dome, as if it was extinguishing the lights scattered across the desert. Oh, more exposition. Hooray for us. Van Olden looks the same as he did during your first meeting. The same shiny glasses with thin rims, an arrogant expression, and a stopwatch clutched in his hands. He's examining a shred of mist hanging in the air. Be meeting your eyes, the scientist Come on, talk to me. Talk to, to me. In your face. Sebastian Van Olden screws up his lips scornfully. Yes, of course. A thought form, like the pink mist, I suppose, or any other similar anomaly. As was to be expected. He doesn't find your scathing question funny. I knew you'd ask something like that. Had you paid more attention, you would have noticed that aside from the stopwatch, this timepiece has a calendar with a 20-date memory. He taps on the chronometer's glass. Thanks to the calendar, I know that from the moment of the accident in Nashville and the release of Maelstrom, 739 days have passed. Oh. I don't think that you can boast of such precise data. Wait a minute, what's happening over here? The scientist loses all interest in you. A gray-haired man. Kingsley is much shorter in person. He notices you. I never thought we'd meet again. I must thank you. Thanks to your report, I was able to start the evacuation in time. Martin comes closer. For 739 days? I guess the incident in Nashville started a few days ago, so I guess two years have passed since the incident at Nashville and the Maelstrom, and I've been stuck here. You notice small changes in his uniform. Some of the insignia have been replaced by larger patches resembling military chevrons. Kingsley nods as if anticipating your question. Yes, yes, the uniform is new, but the man is the same. Head of Magellan Base. 
I intended to resign after the incident, but Nakamura decided otherwise. I he surveys the thick mist around you. One thing's certain. You're standing here. That means you're alive. Yes, I know what this is, partly. He looks you in the eye and says, Scientists on the emulator project have been telling us a lot about it. Not everything, of course. Even they don't know what it is. Emulator project. So I guess we could have killed some of the people, maybe the two scientists, and wouldn't have met them in here. I guess I saved everyone I could save, including the orange guy, and didn't kill him. Uh, it makes me curious. If we kill him in the real world, we probably wouldn't have met him here. Okay, get out of this place. You smell quartz and sand tempered in the sun. But as you try to penetrate the dispersing mist, you can't see any desert. The world around you is full of pictures. They're floating around like visions in some crystal ball. Ball? A hall covered with carpets. A golden Cronus logo on the wall among wine red banners. A power plant. A city filled with lights. Mercenaries, soldiers, armored vehicles moving through the cool wasteland in the night. The spire of a temple spire, its searchlight shining into the night sky. White corridors of research complexes. The visions fade one after another until only the last remains. The black silhouette of a strange building towering up from the lighter sand. This picture freezes before your eyes, as if giving sense to everything that came before. Oh no! We'll never get through all of this, okay. okay keep calm. The fuzzy mist as if whisked with a mixer. He clasps his hands, but vivid interest flashes in his eyes. He clears his throat. I'm out of jokes about death. Or about Mr. Christ. I'm out of jokes about hallucinations. Although hallucinations under the dome aren't any joke, but an everyday reality. The man circles you. His glance bounces from your face to your uniform to your shoes and back. But you... You are something else. So... Let's see. But I'm wearing go. A servo shell, you cannot see. haircut, oh. all-time uniform, clean and pressed. Shoes aren't worn out, just got them. He recites with enthusiasm. He wore haircut all time. He frees his plump palm and carefully touches you with one finger. Uh, you are ethereal, but light tight. You respond to my movements. You are not using an image that's familiar to me. You don't look like anyone I know. And your badge says... Uh, he raises himself on tiptoes and fixes his eyes upon your badge. The name. Of course. Of course. The name. The ancient hero, right? He flings his arms about and leaves without even saying goodbye. Okay, bye. The fluctuant white slow... The woman rolls her eyes discontentedly. Are you serious? Tuesday, I tell you. Wednesday, I tell you. Thursday. How come I always repeat the same thing? I can't sleep without my pills. You're the man. You're responsible for me. The nightstand. The top drawer. There they are. Oh, my pills. Just say, pills, before we go to sleep. Is that so difficult, Johan? She pushes him. The man nods. The woman clasps her hands in front of her chest. She's boiling with frustration. I can't depend on you, can I? I haven't been able to relax in years because I have to control the situation for both of us. Johan! Hello! My pills! P-I-L-L-S! Her shouts break through the man's pondering. He comes to his senses and stares at you in surprise. Then he turns to face his companion. Olivia, don't shout. Make a habit of putting your pills on your pillow. Anyway, this isn't about the pills. 
Olivia falters and points her finger at you. And what is this? Or who is this? Mind telling me, without the never-ending riddles, Johan. Just tell me. Johan gives you an appraising look. Is it Maelstrom? Hobbit's trying out a new device? I don't know, darling. Now, be so kind to take these goddamn pills since you remembered. <laughs> and if you must yell, do it quietly. I have a migraine. The woman flings her arms up fiercely and walks away. Okay, it's weird, but I guess they really managed to make it more digestible, more understandable. Victoria. A familiar woman steps out of the mist and looks. She's wearing a tall, crudely made tin crown painted with gold powder and them. She smiles, although on her, she begins to prowl around you. While circling around you, she steps. Okay, whatever. The mist fades away. You see a short. You I don't see it in here. And he's... The ends justify the means, don't oh. they? Have you scientists nothing better to do, Kimiko? He uh -huh. asks, looking upward. <laughs> Zero combos. I guess he's he's also pretty poor. The stranger raises his head. He looks up again. We have to be like the Soviet Union and Germany in the late 1930s. Mutual favors, mutual limits, parity. We've always worked on such terms. As he finishes speaking, his lips stop. Okay, so I guess this is uh, the second in command of the dome. You hear heels clicking. It's a woman. I don't see heels. You've never met her, but you feel as though you've seen her. She looks at you with she stands so close you can see multicolored reflections in her bionic eye. After poking you to confirm your ethereal naturally, she fails. The woman chuckles discontentedly. Yeah, she knows what's going on and she doesn't care. I guess this is a the guy from the church. Man, long and lean as a scarecrow, leans over to examine you with the curiosity of a vulture. His stony black eyes. Such remarkable technology. He says in a low, well modulated voice. This voice seems to belong to some... He smiles, a warm and kindly expression, wildly at odds with a menace in his eyes. Name your price, and I'll buy your design. But be reasonable. Take time with your answer. Think it through. With the smile still... F Let's build a launch pad for Maelstorm. Typical, typical bunker of an equally typical design. Ergonomics and logistics. Did not know anything about the Maelstorm. December 1976. So, where are we and what time is it? Has a nice ring to it. Okay, so the relic is clearly not in containment anymore. The place is no longer dangerous, and that's the passage in the rocks. Yeah. Uh, people. Okay, looks like the entire thing collapsed. <laughs> well, good thing I left my items outside of the facility because, well, otherwise I would have lost them forever. I mean, I didn't have anything valuable, of course, but, you know, it happened. So I guess we, the Maelstrom transformed into something that didn't have a body, and now it gave us back. Yeah, I guess this is the part where you can't escape with your servo shell. Servo shell. So, where does it say my defense class? 47.
I will miss you, my old friend. Let's scan him as well. Mark free servo shell. Hmm, doesn't say much. I guess you can unequip it and equip it in combat as well. The bright feature of the C12. The relic production per the facility will increase by 700% in 1979. Uh, more, more than... Oh, okay. A skyscraper, oh, okay. By the time you exit the cave, the desert is in deep darkness. Blue firefly lights are floating in the thick darkness. The dry, chilly air smells of cooling sand. When you look closer, you notice a tall white structure nearby. The screen on your Kairos blinks. The system reports an error while trying to update the built-in atlas. When the maps reload, the icons are gone. Only a single marker indicating your location remains. Well, you're still near Nashville, at least judging by the coordinates. Okay, I guess this, this is where the game really begins to unfold. Yeah, I guess I lost all those items that I left behind. Not a problem. I'm hungry. Me caveman. Me, me lost time. In the <laughs> Imagine like a caveman with uh, energy weapons and such. So, what is my encumbrance doing? 84. That's not so bad. I mean, at least we didn't wake up hungry. That doesn't look well for us. I guess we can just go away in the car. Camaro on no, General C six C class alert. Encouraged to seek asylum. The city is far enough from oh, what? Okay, so I read something and it added junk town. Maybe it was from the radio, I don't know. I guess this is how you lock junk town location. Don't panic. Our scientists and security specialists are closely monitoring the maelstrom phenomenon. Okay, there is more than one over there. Maybe it was not such a good idea to shoot at them. I still don't know how that works. So can you prevent her from calling other people? Okay, she's actually pretty far away. Someone touched us, covered our place with their scent. Oh, so she calls again for help. Hmm. Maybe we can engage all of them in a in a way that I don't call for help. See, that's too far away for us to attack, so that's why I'm using the uh, rifle precise shot. No. Oh, six action points. Ah, 
Ah, okay, let's just shoot. And hope for the best. The hair is vibrating. Who was here? No one, just the wind. Ouch. Hmm, I guess we are scared of what? Looks like we have to keep running, otherwise they'll they'll smash me. That is a very annoying debuff. Well, I hope they reload. Come on, reload. What the guns are you using? Seventy percent. Well, I guess that should heal us completely, right? Oh, wait, that's so annoying with the that debuff to decrease your action points by two. Outsider radiation everywhere. Someone passed through. He teleported. Scattering their light around. Uh, that's kind of bad. Now I don't have a shot on her. Is that was to be expected? What a weird combat, I mean, I was winning and then I was not winning suddenly. <laughs> 36 hit points, I don't think he'll be able to kill me so fast. Pew! And another pew, and the last pew. Oh, don't have enough action points for the last pew. Oh, he missed point blank. Outside did it. I don't know it. It has that skull icon. Storm looks like we emerged in a completely new and weird world. I like it. Did we get a new weapon by any chance? No, I don't think we got a new weapon. Spectre. Torpedo. Well, let's strip this down. I guess the observation deck is really nice in this time of the year. Okay, I guess the game gets a lot more interesting right now. If you can handle all of that nonsense we just been we have been through. Oh this is already broken. Such a shame, I would have loved to break it myself. That's empty. Oh that was a lucky find. Hmm. Not sure what you get for lucky finds, I really want that survival skill. Well, to be honest... I think I really want the influence so I can convince people to do stuff, so I'll just upgrade it right now so I don't forget about it. So we got the brains because that's... So I guess this is kind of like a, an analog system that unlocks if you have the right stats, so you have the skills but not the stats. I guess, I guess you can have all of them if you really have six in each, but I forgot to check that out before I started. Yeah, maybe next time I'll start with six inch of them.
I also have a new perk commando. I want something that will give me more stats. A leg up. Uh, that's not so useful. Expropriate now. 50 hit points sounds like a great idea, but about for role playing. <laughs> Are ashamed of the <laughs> behavior and seek to compensate it. That's so fun. <laughs> That's so fun and funny. Forty contraptions. Well, actually, that optimizer seems like a good one. Dirty. Per level. So I guess at level 10, we have 30 extra experience, uh, head hit points. So it will be better than the roaring good health at, well, at least we're on your level 15. What about level 20? That's the thing that nobody takes in Fallout. What is my current party size, anyway? Opportunity stepping coincidence. I guess luck will, or fortune or luck or whatever you want to call it, it's nice. Sure. Oh, really? Well, yeah, I guess I made a lot of mistakes then. Fortune is a stat that I took, but apparently is not so well for your so good for your perks. I guess you should have six in all of them for a more balanced stat distribution, especially because of yeah. This is what I wanted to get, Renaissance person, so I needed 5 in all of the points so I can get 6. So with this, you can actually take almost any perks. I don't see the benefit of having, let's say, 11 in brains, because you start off with higher skills and, of course, more learnability. Perception and Psyche, so what does brains actually do? Why is it this perception based? And also Psyche. Action points maximum seven skill points per level. I guess I took it for the skill points per level, which is mostly or roughly the same thing, except I cannot take some perks. Sure grip. Muscle and deafness. Well, yeah, that would have been great to have. Precise shot, which is this thing over here. But I guess it uses more action points, so I get it. That is not 100% better. We have potatoes. <laughs> when eating a potato. <laughs> oh, that's a funny one. Bodybuilder. When you're wearing no armor, that's fun. Mysterious Patronage, level 9, 9. Oh, that would be great to see how that works. I guess it would be better for them to just show you the perks you can get. I'm yeah, sorry about that. That was actually about a very long... Uh, a very long stat evaluation. Hmm. 
<laughs> I guess we emerged in a brave new world and we're a bit hungry. Take everything. I guess we can go in junk town and start dealing stuff. Pile of papers. Yeah, Jengtan will be an interesting place to visit after all of this nonsense. Is is not less interesting? Ninety six meters. Oh, I guess this is still standing. Okay, let's have a look at things. Facing south, look. Okay, the familiar cafe. Ruins of the spire. Sliding flying inward. Concord, what happened to Concord? Maelstrom, what's happening with the Maelstrom? Okay, so I guess it's still over there. Okay, how can I look at the general map of the dome? So we're in the north side, Nashville Observation Deck, Magellan Station, Junk Town, Maelstrom. Very interesting. I like the game more. I hope just all the companions and how you get them is not really weird. Why is my lock picking? Oh, because I'm over encumbered. Okay, let's see. I think we should strip down some things. Oh, I want to sell those. I don't want to put a point in there. This is so silly. 91. Okay, we'll, we'll do that uh, some other way. West. Salt Marshes, a Mysterious Stripe, Nashville Base, oh, Nashville Base, the parking lot, surrounding area, parking lot, stop looking, Mysterious Stripe, Salt Marshes, okay. That's to the west. To the north. Road junction, arc, dome. To never let you out. Oh, come on. We have no way of knowing that for sure. Magellan base, complex, slums, move away. On top of the wall, that's an achievement. All box, well I guess you can miss this one. Like, I guess I'll be the one picking locks from now on. <laughs> okay, how much do I need?
I guess I can use the pig lock then. Protective mask. Actually, let's do it like this. Store all, so I can go and open that other thing over here. Very interesting game. I, I'm starting to like it again. Yeah, we definitely need some <laughs> some companions. But that was everything that was in that box. Another princess. I think the game is a lot better paced right now, especially considering all of the cool little details it has. I mean, look at that thing over here. I guess this is the dome or something <laughs> shimmering over there. Fly barrel, okay. We have seen everything that's to be seen. Okay, I guess that's a bug. That it, uh, or maybe it's above us. Okay, it's not a bug. Okay, let's climb this ladder as well. What a great place to explore. Well, I guess there's not much exploration left. But yeah, Nashville is definitely the best part of the game, at least from what I know. Now let's see if, reward, if, if exploration is really rewarded. Weird, it doesn't have... Is it a permanent bonus like I always wished for? Seems like it's permanent. Wait, let's see. Temporary, temporary. <laughs> okay, now where are contraptions over here? So it's my contraptions are 10. Let's see finding you on your own chaps to organize bombs back <laughs> all the time. Do the enemies know where you're hidden on your chaps and jump over them? Keep bruising limbs while attempting to plant a mine and sabotage for damage is the book for you. You know the basics of tactical chip wires, master grenade throwing techniques, learn what additives you need for optimal expo explosions. With the placement of bear traps for hunting, you will be able to build yourself a smart fortress anywhere you like. Yes, it's okay. So we have permanent stat stat increases. That's actually interesting. Actually, saw that briefcase when we're coming here. I hope it has a relic. First of all, let's scan it. I don't know if it matters. <laughs> Everything that says danger on it is very important. A relic case. Ah, I think I forgot to do that. To scan the actual case. A relic dust. Well, I think relic dust will be useful for something else in the future, but for now it's a bit me. Hmm, super interesting. And I think we have enough stat points to actually learn driving. I don't want to leave the place without the car. That seems like a terrible idea. Maybe we'll get a driver in Junktown. Okay, so the main thing I looked at and the main thing I want, of course, is this one over here. Plus one guts because it's a stat increase. And of course, the treasure hunter. Lucky find. Plus the relic slots.
And also, three times more experience for visiting a location. I guess this is also a very good one to have. Plus 20 kilograms. I think this survival is the best one to take. I guess you have to take piloting because it's also for mechs, for the servo shields, which is a good way to do it. Uh, sorry about that. My chair. So. Car driving, passive abilities. I guess you also need tech, not only piloting. Okay, sorry about this, it will be a longer video, but yeah, we explored a lot. Rotate the tuning knob. Oh, it doesn't say the. Okay. Our new committee citizens are encouraged to seek asylum. On the other sector to be considered safe. Oh, I guess it's smashed. Yeah, I don't think this one will be working. Okay, so we don't get a car over here. Let's see if we can get to junk down because that's the first thing we have to do. Because we need to rest and also need to find a vendor. <laughs> we need fraction points to leave the location. Picnic neutral zone. Oh, I guess the... <laughs> Do I really want to go to the parking lot? Yeah, let's go to the parking lot. You wander through the desert and suddenly fall. A quiet hum, like that of a huge bell, fills your head. The space around you is... Without taking your eyes off the beam, you struggle to get up. Each step requires great effort and your head is splitting. You search through the pockets of your uniform and find several pills. You put the pills in your mouth, and the headache and hum soon pass. You've seen this fading glow before, but from a different angle. The explosion that flashed through the clouds. Why interrupt my little... My little adventure for that, I don't know. Medicine. Oh, we found a relic. Oh, really? White, a little bit white ball. Oh, for resilience. Hmm. Very interesting. I like this kind of events. But can we go to the Nashville parking lot again? I'm actually hoping to find a car over here if you're wondering what I'm doing, but yeah. I just want to see if all my items are still here. Huge rat, there was no huge rat over here. Oh, yeah, everything changed. Looks like it has been 5 or 10 or 20 years since I was last here. Deafness, muscle, and rope. Oh. I guess someone is living here, and they'll see someone has been eating my porridge. A 
and someone has been killed or it's dead. Do I need to sleep? No, I don't need to sleep. Let's waste a point for that. What a weird way. The game has some some weird moments, and this is one of those. A torpedo level four. Yeah, you get a lot more experience for finding rare items. I guess we'll have to come back here later because I have a feeling we will see many, many more beautiful things along the way. Like, uh, let's go to ne to Jangtown. We'll have a lot of jobs to do over here. There is no bad random encounters. I'm so sleepy. With rat holes. Shift on the shelves from portion of this place. 1977 from Duck to Take Cover Survival Guide. We have arrived at civilization. The hum in your head that's accompanied you from the barely able to stay in your feet. You look around. The road to somewhere in these slums is the unknown. Oh, shut up already with the glow and the stuff. How big is this place? Oh, okay, the, the place is not so big. We can explore it in one episode and then go to Nashville in another one. Okay, I guess this is what you go after you finish the Nashville events. See you next time. Bye.